Come on up, Andrew. So, and Theo, I don't know if you uh, remember, the first time I met you was your D-Trace talk at OzCon in 2007. So when you said you love D-Trace, that brought that back. Okay, so now we're going to do five sessions, five talks in 30 minutes. So uh, we'll see how good we are at uh, keeping the schedule. So this uh, next, these next two talks are one of my favorite things at Velocity, the lightning demos. Um, so we're going to get two quick demos. Uh, the first one is from Andrew Oates from Google, who works on PageSpeed, PageSpeed Online specifically. PageSpeed is so big it has like eight incarnations. And I believe he's going to demo something that's brand new that I got a glimpse of a couple weeks ago that's very cool. So please help me welcome Andrew Oates. on. All right, great. Hi. All right, my name is Andrew Rhodes. I work at Google uh, in Cambridge, Massachusetts on our PageSpeed team. Uh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about uh, something we're launching in PageSpeed Online. Um, so first, quick poll. How many people have used or know about PageSpeed? I'm going to skip this slide. <laughs> um, I'll just say, we just launched something really cool in AdSense. Uh, if you're an AdSense publisher, you can now get page speed alerts, performance alerts, and recommendations right in your AdSense dashboard. Um, we're try trying really hard to get performance sort of in the, in the view of everyone out there, be it you know, publisher, marketers, all of these people, so that they can understand these problems and fix it in the whole organization. Skip the background, because you guys don't need it. All right, so we are uh, obviously always looking for new ways to help web developers optimize their sites. And we look at sort of old tools and new tools. And one of the most you know, core tools in the developer's toolbox is the waterfall diagram. I'm sure all of you are familiar with it. Here's an example. Um, this is a really great tool. It tells us what resources were loaded. It tells us when they were loaded. It tells us what order they were loaded in. And it tells us how long it took to load each one. But there's one critical thing missing. And that is, it tells us what happened, but not why it happened. And understanding why there is a problem in your waterfall diagram is just as important, if not more important, um, to understanding and fixing the problems um, when, you're, when you're working on this. So to address that, we're launching something we're calling render profiling. It's a new type of analysis we're doing. And how it works is pretty simple, in theory. Get, it's all in the details. Basically, we hook really tightly into the browser, and we extract lots of event data from the renderer. So most tools just look at the network layer. We're working at the render layer. So we can do things like look for pain events. We can see JavaScript function calls. We can look for when CSS styles are applied. And from that, we can build a really detailed model of how the page load actually happened. On top of that, we can do things like we can generate a dependency graph for all of your resources. We can find the critical path of your page load, et cetera. And then we can build lots of cool tools to let you guys um, diagnose your problems. So I'm going to give you a quick demo slash preview of something we're calling the Critical Path Explorer. Uh, we're hoping to launch it soon. It's a little, little rough around the edges still, some, some kinks to work out. Um, but I'm going to show it to you. So this is a development test server uh, that you guys don't have the credentials to access. But it's all live, I promise you. So let's, let's put, this is our PageSpeed Online um, landing page. Let's punch in bankofamerica.com, hit analyze. So right now we're going out and actually fetching bankofamerica.com, rendering it in a browser, analyzing it, and all that stuff. So here is the PageSpeed online um, results page. You can see we have a PageSpeed score over here. We have results on the left. But you'll notice there's a new tab here called Critical Path Explorer. I'm going to click on that. And up pops this thing, which looks a lot like a traditional waterfall diagram. But there's two key differences I want to point out. The first is we are rendering this in what we're calling render order, not network order. So we are rendering things in the order in which they are executed or shown to the user, not in which they come in off the wire. And we think that's a really important difference, right? This much more closely represents what your user is experiencing on your site uh, than a network thing. They're not sitting on the, on the Ethernet card watching bytes come in. They're seeing stuff appear in the browser. The second key difference is these red boxes. So everything in red is what we call the critical path. These are the resources that are blocking your user from seeing and interacting with your content. So if you want to optimize your site, this is what you need to focus on. So on a page with hundreds of thousands of resources, which we have seen, you need to know which is the one that's sitting there blocking the user from doing what they want to do. And that's the key. So we're going to click Show Critical Path Only, which gets rid of everything else. 
And let's zoom in a little bit and look at the beginning of the timeline here. So we can see there's three things. Uh, here's the first one. I'll zoom in so you can see it a little better. So first, we load bankofamerica.com, and that's a redirect. And that goes to www.bankofamerica.com. And that redirects again to https www.bankofamerica.com. So we can see immediately right here, this middle redirect is completely unnecessary. It does absolutely nothing except add latency, specifically 63 milliseconds of latency. And in the grand scheme of things, for this page load, 63 milliseconds isn't a lot. But on some of your pages, it might matter. Um, we can get, get rid of that. There's no reason to have this extra redirect. Um, and that's the first problem that I see when I look at this. The second problem, so let's zoom out again. Let's take a look down here at this cookieid.js. So notice right below it is this little gray bar. So what this gray bar has, is it has a little red bar to the right there. What that means is that this is a, this is a script that we loaded during the gray portion, but then it sat and blocked until the red portion on the right. And it'll tell us that. If we mouse over, it'll say, delayed execution, delay 300 milliseconds. So that's 300 milliseconds where this script was sitting in the browser cache doing nothing after it had been loaded before it was executed. Let's try and figure out why. Oh, it says right there, parser blocked on cookieid.js, which is this red thing right here, which was highlighted for us. So let's figure out what we can do about that. We go over here to the little arrow on the left here. And we can see, tag added using document.write. So we know that some script, specifically illuminate.js, whatever that is, called JavaScript document.write to inject a script tag, which loaded cookieid.js, which in turn is blocking all of these resources down here from executing. So we know, just by looking at this, the thing we need to look at is cookieid.js. We need to get that out of the critical path, and then we can really speed up how this is, how this is working for our users. So that is the critical path explorer. Um, in four minutes. Um, this is just the beginning. So we have a lot of really interesting data here. We want to build new page speed rules on top of this. We want to be able to give you predictions. Say, if you remove this from the critical path, if you optimize this piece, then you can save 20% of your page load time, or you'll, your first pain event will be 30% sooner. Um, we think those are really useful statistics for, for web developers to have. We're also working with Dynatrace. Uh, we're trying to get some of this data into their tools so that we can bring this sort of analysis to an even wider audience. Um, that's the demo. Uh, if you want to hear more about PageSpeed or Mod PageSpeed, there's a talk this afternoon, Empirical Results of Mod PageSpeed. Uh, Josh Morantz from the Mod PageSpeed team and Matthew Steele from the PageSpeed team are going to be giving that at 420. Thank you.